Welcome to ECN Trade Daily Video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you for joining me. Well, over the last 24 hours, the Australian dollar has stepped back and actually sitting on the sidelines while its rival, the US dollar or the US dollar index, held firmly to a near three-week high at 93.12. Now, the gains from the greenback emerged after the US Senate passed a $1 trillion infrastructure bill, which includes $550 billion in spending on transportation and broadband, which is expected to help give the economy a boost as peak growth slows following the reopening from the pandemic. Still keeping in mind, traders are waiting for the key number to the July U.S. Consumer Price Index. With the schedule at the moment, looking at a 0.5% rise, where in June prices jumped by 0.9%, which was the biggest monthly increase since August 2008. We've still got a few federal U.S. officials speaking this week, so keep an eye on that, because no doubt we may get a few hints after the CPI number on how they are viewing to or when will they begin to cut back the 120 billion in monthly asset purchases which has supported the economy during the pandemic looking at the technical structure for the australian dollar it still remains somewhat negative since taking out the support levels 7345 locked in a band of uh, 7285 to 7365 the bias is still towards the downside We've got a trend that's holding at the moment to the bear case for the Aussie and therefore could see eventually the MACD marrying up. But at the moment, we've only got two out of three indicators supporting the bear case. Now, towards this level of 72.85, we might find some bullish traction. So just be on your guard because previously it did post a bullish outside range day and quite aggressively from there rose all the way up to 74 cents. I've added an extra indicator just for now, as it does marry up with the ADX, and that is the parabolic SARS. Keeping an eye on both, it's supporting the bearish case, now marrying up with the MACD, but we are oversold on the RSI, but the trend indicator for the ADX is relatively firm, as the minus DI is broken through that 15 level and surging along supporting the ADX. At present, the downside target holds towards the support level of 1%. 1680 and maybe down to 1161025 as a new target with resistance seen at 11765 to 11815. Dolly N, well, the target is nearly been claimed, well, it has been claimed actually, after seeing a high today of 11068 and the levels at 11070. I do anticipate a, a bearish rejection from here, and from that, we are holding to an overbought case, but the ADX is actually strengthening up a bit. Now, a close above this level of 110.7080 may see a short squeeze up to 111.45, but at this stage, I don't feel we may see that because there was good supply from the top side of this range, and we may do see that again and look for a pullback towards 110.05 to 109.55. Sterling edging its way lower. No real call as of yet to, to the bear case, really. Only due to the fact is that uh, we've closed underneath the level 138.35, but no follow through. Though I'm going with the technicals and they are breaking down to a bearish case and therefore do at this point support the move to 137.75 as a target. But from there or below, I do anticipate the balls returning in great numbers. So and maybe even seeing a rebound off that level where I've highlighted here. This would see sterling yen back away from the level of 153.30.50 and maybe look down eventually for a slide as the pound breaks down to 152.40, maybe even to 151.60.65. The resistance, as you can see, is around 153.30.50. After the flash crash on Monday, the market is actually showing a very somewhat lackluster price action. But keeping for, you for the goal view is that if you look at the four hour, it does appear to be showing potentially to a positive case. And holding to that fact, then I may, or oh, I feel that we may see a move up towards that level. First of all, at 1,742 to 1,752, 
and with the challenge at 1760 to 68 where the break level was quite a key point on the way down so no doubt we may see a short-term rejection from there i'm seeing this from the shorter term from the broader term though it still is somewhat negative so i feel that the market this is just in the interim before maybe another test lower and wrapping up with oil as you can see the market it stays a slight um, hesitant move towards after the rebound to that 69 area but that, at this point not fully bullish i feel the market will struggle towards 68 80 or anywhere near that region and the risk is still down towards the bottom side of that challenge of 64 70 80. well that wraps it for now thank you very much for joining me and as always go out for the inch report and hope you enjoy the rest of the day